Hey there, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Ruby programming language for Selenium web driver. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to download a gem called Selenium. dash web driver uh, on my system it is already installed so you might want to hit enter after typing gem space installs space selenium space web driver and then hit enter after that the gem will be installed after that i want you to write a code inside your text editor, editor or IDE so type in require selenium dash web driver then type driver equals to selenium web driver for Firefox then type driver dot navigate dot to and here you're gonna type google.com or ping.com then you're gonna search for element uh, that element will be the name element or search query element which will accept string you have to first find that element called name by using driver.find underscore element and inside this type name then find that q element which will append the string at the end of the URL and element equals to send keys which will basically string let's say we want to search for white elephant okay now element dot submit and we are going to quit the driver okay and save this file as selenium demo dot rp now as you can see after hitting the file extension I got this colorful code here yeah, as per the programming language okay so let's just open command prompt I'm trying to execute this type IRB which will call for Ruby interpreter and type cell demo dot RB and now hit enter this will execute the code and will ask for Firefox web browser instance to open now that instance is open it will search for google.com So that it will check for white elephants string and search results will be given okay so we can have wet element in between so that the result will be paused for a few seconds but so far everything just worked correctly so our program works so this was simple demo on how you can use selenium web driver to work with Ruby programming language so I have managed to do the Google search and perform search query and send a search string you can use assert and verify to verify the elements on the page 
and you can change the website name to your own website and make the modifications so i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you have any questions have any different code to share with me you can send it directly to my channel message box or you can comment on the video or on google plus thank you